All right, guys, this jumbled thing of sticks is actually our muscadine vines. And we have five on the farm. Uh, these two, first two that are so stick-like are the oldest ones on the farm. They are here before we got here uh, and we can say they're probably at least six years old. Um, and then we have three other young ones that we've added and they're in varying stages. So for those of you that know that I am from Canada originally, muscadines are actually something that I had never heard about until I came to the south. They actually grow in the wild. If you go you know, down by the river, you might luck out in August and find yourself a muscadine hanging off the vine. And uh, if you've never had a muscadine, they are a fantastic grape, a, a very large, bit seedy, but the taste to me is fantastic. I absolutely love muscadines. I, I, the first one I ever had, I can remember thinking, wow, how have I never had this before? So they make things like jams and wines. Um, I use the skins and dry them and put them into smoothies for antioxidants and all that great stuff. Um, and they're just really super easy to grow because they are native to the south. So I'm going to show you how to prune them to get an ultimate, you know, number of muscadines on your vines and it's not that hard. Let's take a look. So first off, let me introduce you to our muscadine vines. That guy down there is a very young one. It was added last year. These two you can see have much, much more growth. And those are the ones that were originally here on the property. And then these are actually two. We planted that one in the back. And then this one, appeared out of nowhere so we don't know if it grew on its own or if it was planted we didn't know it was there uh, so this uh, trellis actually has two growing on it probably not the best but it is what it is so so we get lots and lots of grapes every year an immense amount of buckets full of them um, and they are like i said very very tasty so each um, january february ish you want to actually prune these guys all the way back so you can see this massive amount of growth all of this occurred in the season like from um, like March onward until August when you start well it, I'm sure it keeps growing you know throughout that but um, in August you'll start to get your fruit towards the end of August and early September so this guy I've already worked on a bit to clean him up and he's, he's just good to look at for a sense of what's going on here. With the muscadine, you technically really want just one main trunk. Um, now, I don't follow that to a perfect T because I have found that all of it fruits eventually. So I keep it to a couple of main trunks and then just trim it back when I want additional air space or if it's getting a little too unruly. But overall, the idea is, is to ha start from the bottom and have one main trunk that you maintain. So when trimming this, the one thing you don't want to do is trim your main trunk. So always know where your main line is. And then from there, you can trim anything that comes off of it. So we're going to trim this guy, but we're only going to trim it one, two nodes in and trim. And this here you can see is connected to my trunk line, my main line going all the way down. So I don't want to trim it at the end, but I do want to trim the ones coming off the side. All right, I'm not going to make you watch me go through all this, but we're going to go clean this up for a bit and then you can come back and take a look. All right, we're all complete, nicely trimmed up. Well, that's it, you guys. That's all for pruning the muscadines. I will put some fertilizer on it. I put sheep gold on my the base of the trees, usually in the spring, and maybe sometimes if I get a little bit extra, I'll put it out um, in different times of the season. But I usually for sure put some on in the spring, and I put it just around the base and then down the line, and um, usually the chickens end up blending it all in. So super easy to maintain a muscadine. They are very aggressive growers and made for the climate down here anyway. So nice and easy plant to take care of. And so a word to the wise, if you're a YouTuber, you're probably much smarter than I in this case, but make sure you take your microphone off when pruning. I have managed to prune my microphone. So no microphone for the end of this video. We'll have to order a new one. Hope the sound's okay. Other than that, that's it for my uh, muscadines, you guys. Be friendly, be kind.